Knoxville soldier Roddy Edmonds was recognized in a recent tweet by President Trump saying he is strongly considering the South Knoxville native for one of our nation's highest awards. In an interview with us and in his new book, his son recounted his father's act of courage in World War II, standing up to Nazi captors to save dozens of American soldiers who were Jewish. That story is now known worldwide, but a surprise phone call to our newsroom led us to a new chapter in the military service of Master Sergeant Roddy Edmonds. We got pinned down on one of the first battles we were in. At age 95, Earl Ratledge can still recall his first firefight 70 years ago in Korea. Probably lucky I didn't get killed there because that was the first time in combat. Bullets are whistling, the guys with me said, get down, get down. He also remembers meeting this soldier. They shared the same hometown of Knoxville, but what Earl Ratledge didn't know then was Master Sergeant Roddy Edmonds was an unsung hero of World War II. I could categorize him being easygoing, kind of laid back, uh, uh, but friendly, very friendly and open. The only thing that I learned from him about the uh, World War II is he had been prisoner of war. Held captive in a German prisoner of war camp during World War II, Roddy Edmonds made a righteous life and death choice. Two days after they were there, uh, they sent orders to my father and announced over the loudspeaker that the following morning they just wanted the Jewish men to fall out, just the Jews, uh, no one else. And Dad turned to his men and he said, we're not doing that. Tomorrow morning we all fall out. That's what they did. Uh, Major Ziegman, who was a part of the high command, who was just there to take the Jews away, he stormed over to my father. He, he, he couldn't believe his eyes. All the Americans were standing together, nearly 1,300 soldiers in sharp formation. He was enraged. He was angered. He stormed over to my father and got up in his face. He said, you can't all be Jews. And my father simply replied, we're all Jews here. The lifelong Christian never spoke about his courageous action that saved 200 Jewish soldiers. It would be decades after his death that his son and the world would learn about that valiant defiance of the Nazis from men who served and were saved by Master Sergeant Edmonds. So I'm excited to be here. Um, I don't know much about Dad's Korean War experience. And only now is Pastor Chris Edmonds getting a chance to meet a man who served with his father 70 years ago in a different war, in Korea. Hello, sir. Hello. How are you? Fine, how are you? You look similar to your father, about the same size, I believe. Uh, his hair might be a little lighter than yours. I don't know. He seemed I'd, I'd, say, I'd say he had better hair and he sang better. <laughs> Next to a map of the battlefield, a proud son learns even more he never knew from a man who served with his now famous dad and a veteran of two wars. No, he didn't say a whole lot about World War II. Yeah, he never talked about it to, to our family. Well, I don't blame him. <laughs> There's a lot of things in Korea that I don't want to talk about. I guess he was probably in his 30s by yeah, that time, and it had been six years, I think, since he had had that POW mm -hmm. experience. And I don't remember how long he was captive to you. A hundred days. A hundred days. Yeah. But he never mentioned this incident about the Jews. I am not surprised at all that he would have answered that because he was that kind of guy, but uh, under those circumstances, it certainly took yeah. more than usual nerve to do that. Did you ever talk to Dad when you got back, or you, did y'all ever meet each other up? or? Well, you know, no, we did have that. We went to church that one time. That one time. I don't think that we kind of went our ways because we had uh, to raise families. But after witnessing this unlikely meeting, it begs the question, what will be the next chapter in the postscript? of the life of Master Sergeant Roddy Edmonds. If he were alive today, and uh, he, he wouldn't, he'd say like, what's all the fuss about? And you can learn more about Earl Ratledge and the impact of his military service on the rest of his life in the service and sacrifice section of WBIR.com a bit later this evening.